is it going today YouTube today I had a customer bring in an APC back up or uh, back dash UPS dash 450 they needed the battery replaced on it so I just thought I would shoot a quick video demonstrating on how to change the battery on this particular unit again we got a back dash UPS dash 450 I'm not sure if you guys can see that there But we are going to remove the battery, which is a standard 12 volt, 5 amp hour battery. And it is relatively simple. So more or less, we're going to flip over the unit. And from there, you can see there is four screws. One, two, three, four. I've already taken those out just for the video. Um, and then more or less, once those screws are out, just pop this top off ever so carefully. Oops. And then as you can see, it'll pull up and be careful. Just putting this off to the side. And that will show the inside housing of this particular unit. And from there, the battery is right here. And if you're replacing it, you just have to disconnect. Get that off. And you can see all you would have to do is reconnect the new battery, slide it in as so, and your unit should be good to go. And keep in mind, whenever you're using a PowerStar battery in any type of UPS or uninterrupted power supply, uh, they come with a three-year full replacement warranty. So PowerStar is an excellent brand to use to replace your UPS devices and applications just due to the fact, regardless of the battery size, if it's being used in a UPS device, then that battery comes equipped with a three-year full replacement warranty. So again, PowerStar is an excellent brand to consider when replacing your UPS batteries or any, any type of uninterrupted power supplies. Keep in mind, PowerStar batteries, it's a, it's a great brand. So here we go, we're just gonna reconnect this battery. And we got positive to positive. And negative to negative. And we're just going to slide this battery back into its design position. And all you would do just close the casing and make sure it snaps on there. And then again here, you might have to finagle it a little bit, but rest assured it will snap in there. So there's that. And then we're just going to put the screws back in. One, two, three, four, and this unit should be good to go.